Maps Insider. My name is Ali D. This is Roe Parish, and here we stand on the court yes, before we do. Game Five. Ooh. The playoffs have been crazy all around the league. Of course they have, and you know the Mavs. They kind of got in a series, and they didn't want it to necessarily go this long, did they? No, they didn't. But things happen, and shall we see yes, how they, they did do. on the opening tip? Oh, uh, let's do that. Let's go to it right now. That's Pioneer Square on a sunny afternoon in downtown Portland. It's a little over a mile away from the Rose Garden where the Mavs play this afternoon against the Portland Trailblazers in game four of this first round series. Leading Dallas, it opens up here for Perea off the pick. Mid-range J, no good. Back tap by Chandler. Now Dirk looks to get in on the board and he rattles in a three. Straight away, point play a moment ago. He drives, rises in the lane. Thank it in for the lead. I don't believe what we're seeing. Wesley Matthews, the defender. And now Kidd is three for three. Oh, a terrible miss. Timeout called by Portland. It's Roy on the move, a step back, and he misses it. Kidd the ball, up ahead to Terry. Shoots for the win. It's all tied up now in two games apiece as we head into the pivotal fifth game tonight here at American Airlines Center. And Batum pulls the string on a three. Terry leaked out. He'll take the shot. He'll force it. Look out below. Correa dribbling out the clock, and that will do it. Dallas wins game five. They take a 3-2 series lead, and they will head to Portland to the Rose Garden. Here we go. A drive by Terry, a three by Kent, it is good! Unbelievable! Ten to shoot, post up, Marion against Roy in the lane. The hook shot is good, Sean Marion. Down to ten to shoot, the lead four. Jason Terry drives right baseline, that's a sweet spot for Terry, and he buries it. There's seven seconds to go, they take a three, Wallace misses, Kid rebounds, and the Mavericks are headed to the second round, winning game six, 103-96, and the series four games to two. Everybody stuck together, nobody hung their heads, everybody kept encouraging each other. Uh, we had some guys start off shooting the ball cold, uh, didn't matter, played possession by possession, and, you know, as the game went on, we just, uh, we gained momentum. And uh, that was important. They made a run in the fourth. We've had teams make runs, runs at us all year. Um, but there wasn't going to be a miracle tonight. Coming up on Maps Insider, we'll tell you all about trees for threes. Yes, yes, indeed. And you know we have the playoff watch parties on lock at the Hard Rock. So come back, check us out on Maps Insider. We'll be right back. Maps Insider is brought to you by Whataburger. Just like you like it. Welcome back. Hey, Ro, you remember that old Christmas movie with Jimmy Stewart? Uh, I, I believe it's called a, It's a Wonderful Life, right? Yes, and you remember that line where he says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings? Allie, are you kind of in the holiday spirit or something? Well, kind of. It's a little bit different because every time a Mav hits a three, a tree is planted. Oh, I think I need to go back and watch that movie again. Well, that's okay. Should yeah. we check it out? Neil Beasley has the story. Let's trees for three. Everybody knows the Mavs are great with threes. But are they any good with trees? <laughs> I had a tree in my backyard actually that I used to climb because I'm from like the country, so it was a lot of trees. I was not a tree climber. When I was a kid, I stayed inside unless I was at the basketball court. Mavericks connecting the two this year in their Trees for Threes program. Part of the overall Guard the Planet initiative, the Mavs teamed up with PwC, that's Price Waterhouse Coopers, to plant a tree for every three-pointer the club made at home during the 2010-2011 season. Now, that totaled up to about 300 trees. The big man Brendan Haywood, not really familiar with trees or threes. I can honestly say this is the first. I've been involved with a lot of community relations projects, but I haven't been involved with planting trees. So how did this all come about with it, when you first heard trees for threes? Uh, when I first heard about it, I just thought it was interesting and something I wanted to be a part of. Dancers getting into the act as well, kind of. Is this how you guys do stuff? Is this your attire for when you're working out in the yard? <laughs> 
yeah. all day, every yeah. day. Every day, this is what I wear. I mean, what else would you wear? So the threes have all been drained for the year while the trees are just now going in. But like a good three ball, they've made a big impression. They're starting to bud and green and take hold. And that rain last weekend really helped. So now I'm watching that like I didn't watch it before. So we're very interested in the success of this. Some up. Probably a lot of dirt trees out here. <laughs> I say that. But, um, a lot of trees, I like to say, and it goes a lot of work into planting trees. I just found out that. I thought actually it was a pretty good idea, seeing as how we make a lot of three pointers and we need trees because they clean our air. So I think it was a great idea. It's my first time. It's something new, you know, something different, but um, it's interesting. <laughs> just thought my guy was explaining, he's like, how trees help the water, help the air. So it's a good thing. I keep track at home and watch the games and make sure we know where we are and how we're doing. So it is fun and the players have embraced it and uh, having Corey and Brendan here has been really special. And so uh, we're looking forward to doing it again next year and add another 400 trees maybe next year. You think you'd be able to find this tree that you guys worked on when all these things are come back here to um, Carbon and initials? Probably right? not. Yeah, maybe, but the, the trunk isn't very big yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> So quite a success this Trees for Threes program, yeah. but if Brendan has his way, it might become known as Tree Wood for Haywood. Are you going to tell everybody on the bus, hey, look, at I did all that. If the math team bus rolls by, I'm going to tell Dirk, Mark Cuban, that I planted all these trees out here. It was all me and Corey just did a little bit. <laughs> hey, thanks, Neil. You know, those guys were doing some dirty work, weren't they? Yes, they were, and we've got some more work to do coming up on Mavs Insider. Oh. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Time I, to I, work. I won't. Okay. Okay. Well, tonight the Mavs are at home, but recently when the Mavs are on the road, we've been having watch parties. Yes, indeed. The Hard Rock Cafe downtown Dallas is the place to be. So let's take it to Greg Kirby Kirby Kerr. <laughs> All right, Franklin, you have a chance to be an analyst. Fans not necessarily up on their map history, but up for game three at the Hard Rock. First half, loudest cheer when Brendan Haywood can not one, but two free throws. Dirk put a rise into the Mav faithful with a rare dunk. Dirk, Everybody wants to be a dining room analyst. Go ahead, what'd you think of the first yeah. half? Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, we need to play a little bit better. Uh, you know, obviously it wasn't that great. The winner is... As the night wore on, there was plenty of Mav swag going to fans. Everything from calendars, autographs, and even playoff tickets. Back to the game, late fourth, Mavs down, but the fans exalting them to come back. But the Mavs couldn't bring it all the way back and lost game three. Yeah, I think we lost uh, at the free throw line. I knew it would be a, a tough series, but I believe and ride with my team all the way. Well, the hard rock was rocking for the most part, but Dallas comes up short in game number three, but a good time had by all. Gifts, great game, but game three goes to Portland. For the Mavs Insider, I'm Greg Kerr. Now, have you ever wondered what it's like to have the vantage point of the actual announcers in the NBA game, like Mark Followell and Chuck Cooperstein? This is it right here. Yes, it is. I love it. Of it's course. So, it's amazing to see how great of a view they actually have and how important this view is. Yes, and I'm going to take this off because they're talking to me in my ear like I'm actually on the <laughs> game. But of course, you see all types of information. You have water and a tidbit that people might not know. They have booster seats here. That is the greatest thing. I didn't know they had booster seats. I had no clue. It gives, gives you a little more height. Just I love a little it. bit. So you look taller on TV. That's right. Here with DallasBasketball.com's own Mike Fisher. Game seven is not going to happen. LaMarcus Aldridge versus Dirk. Hey, it's all over with, right? Moving no, forward. Th there, there's nobody. I'm sweeping. <laughs> I wasn't quite a sweep. Well, Game it was two a, games in a row. It was a sweep this week. Yeah. Half a yeah, broom. Exactly. There's a little tiny a broom. Little baby broom. You know, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think LaMarcus Aldridge, I don't think he has an enemy in the league. Enemy in the league. And I, and I don't think he has one with the Mavericks, really, by the time all the dust is settled. But here's one of the reasons that, that I thought Dallas was going to win this series, and I believe a, a major reason why Dallas did win the series. LaMarcus Aldridge is trying to have the kind of career that Dirk Nowitzki dreams of. And so while the Blazers' foundation is Aldridge, Dirk's foundation, uh, the Mavericks' foundation is Dirk, and this foundation is more solid. All right, yes. let's talk about the Jason Kidd BBIQ. Ah. Mm -hmm. You know, a, as they move forward, th there, there are going to be guys on round two opponent who are 
taller or quicker or faster or younger or something or but there won't be anybody who's got more BBIQ than mm -mm. Jason Kidd. It, it, it again it's another foundation piece because you, you know you think back game one against Portland he scored 24 game two scored 18 then his scoring went down is that why they lost not really that's not really why they lost games three and four they lost games three and four because somebody lost their BBIQ with Jason Kidd's head screwed on tight that gives the Mavericks a unique sort of chance that most teams don't have. Now this team's playoff struggles have well been documented over the years. How does the team feel finally moving on to the second round? I think one of the keys is, and this goes for fans and media and players alike, they can't be satisfied because they finally got over this mini hump. It is just a mini hump. And once you get this far, hopefully you begin to kind of revitalize your confidence and realize, you know, that team's in the second round. We're in the second round, so no matter their reputation or their history or their numbers of whatevers, you have elevated yourself to that point. I hope that the Mavericks, as they keep moving on inch by inch, get to put 2006 behind them. As I said this week on Fox Sports, I said, you know, I've gotten divorced. And I so got over it that I went on to again get divorced again, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And so... If I can handle it, they can certainly overcome and recover from something that happened way back in 2006, and I'd right. love to see that happen here. Well, thank you. Good stuff as always, Mike Fisher. But for him, me, Ali D, and Ro Parrish, that's it for this edition of Mavs Insider. But before we let you go, Ro, yes. we have put together the most amazing plays of the month. Shall we show them? Uh, we sure shall, so pay attention. Stay in your seat because it's coming at you right now. Uh, nine points, three assists, oh. 13 minutes. Haywood turns away Danny Granger. Long rebound, Kid Terry runs the floor. Yes, sir. Here's Tony Allen on the drive, and Allen inside missed the layup. Gasol got the rebound, but it stripped away, and that steal by Dallas was by Jason Kidd, which will move him past Gary Payton into third place in all of NBA history. And Anthony Carter has it taken away by Corey Brewer. It's a play and a slam. Toby over Sean Barry, the strip on the way up. How about that play? Tipped it up ahead to Kidd, who will drive and finish. Shot clock is at six. Cross court, Marion drives and opens up, and he gets the thunderous rush. He's denying David West. Great defense. And Ariza loses it on the drive. Kidd comes away with it. Finds Terry on the break. The Chandler running the floor. You can take that with you. Pass for a big guy. A drive for the hoop. And the double up for Chandler, and he gets the slam. Jason Terry did it a moment ago. Oh, Spence, baseline, weak side shot block, the stuff by Tyson Chandler. He comes away with it. And Kidd is left three for three. Yes, sir. Man, I've never seen his stroke look as good as it looks tonight. Dies advantage against Andre Miller. Steps through a double. A double touch, make shot! Are we really seeing this? Loss of all. Jason Terry on the run out. How about the hops? Chased off the three-point arc. Kidd will build a vacated area. Four-point play opportunity! Dirt, fouled, and they'll count it! Spun away, and Dirt got it back. And traffic inside, the lead is 10. All oh, guys off the bench. Dirt has a couple, but a couple more as he flushes. Dirk on the baseline. Marcus Camby got a piece of it, but it flows right down to Chandler. He got two fouls in the first quarter, takes him out here late in the second. Terry fell down. Hey, look what I found for Dirk. Dallas on the run out. Marion from Terry Buckman behind. Ricochet is out to Kidd. All alone, Peja, the Soviet sniper. <laughs> 515 to go. A drive by Terry. A three by Kidd. It is good. Unbelievable. Seven seconds to go. They take a three. Wallace misses. Kidd rebounds. And the Mavericks are headed to the second round. Winning game six, 103-96. And the series... There's no better way to expand your sporting network. Link to Fox Sports Southwest on Twitter and Facebook. Get live game updates, keep up with the team, and connect to fans just like you. Home teams all the time. Fox Sports Southwest.